You may have heard us mention that all fuel lab pumps are tested before leaving our facility. We thought it might be nice to show you what the test bench looks like, how we test the pumps, what criteria we look at, and what information is contained on the pump certification that is included with every pump before it is sent out. In these pictures, we see the main structure of the test stand, which can be removed for maintenance. While it is complex looking, operation is fairly simple, using all aftermarket AN fuel line in conjunction with industrial sensors and solenoid valves on a custom built frame. Something worth noting is that we use all of our own equipment on the automated test stand. We use fuel lab filters, fuel lab pressure regulators, and fuel lab pumps. Additionally, what you will hear during this video is not the sound of just the pump that's being tested. You will actually hear three pumps at the same time. There is obviously one pump in the cradle being tested, but there are also two more fuel lab pumps that are feeding the test stand. This pressurizes the inlet side of the test pump unit to give us an expanded ra testing range from 0 to 100 PSI. First the pump is loaded into the cradle and the electrical wires are connected. The pump model, color, serial number, test date, and the builder's name are all entered into the program. When the test first starts, the pump is on high speed and under free flow conditions. The flow rate and current draw are checked and recorded. The test stand will slowly ramp up the pressure while the pump is still operating at high speed. As the pressure reaches its, each of its five target points, flow rate and current draw are checked and recorded. If any of the recorded specs fall outside of the operating tolerance that we have set, the test stand will notify us of a failed pump. No failed pumps are allowed to leave our facility. After the pump goes through the testing process in high speed, it will then switch to reduced speed mode and run through the same test that it did previously checking and recording the flow rates and current draw at each of the five target pressures. Just the same as when the pump was tested in high speed mode, it is required to fall within the operating tolerances that we have set in order to pass the test. The test is now complete. As the system depressurizes, the results are displayed on the screen and a copy of the results are printed out and packaged with each pump. The pump is now ready to be cleaned off, packaged up, and sent out.